Hey, what's up? It's Lewis 2 Live from Dance Factory Radio, and you are checking out the Hoppy and Freeman Show on WNUR. Oh, Chicago land in Evanston. Freeman here along with... Ryan Hoppy. What up, folks? Coming at you from the beautiful Northwestern University campus, this is WNUR 89.3 Evanston, Chicago, and this is the... Hoppy and... Freeman Show. What up, boys? <laughs> on today's show, adult toy shopping. Oh boy, that's not one thing you usually get underneath the Christmas tree. Also, burglary with GPS. This is the one time in life I think that having a GPS system probably isn't the best idea. It usually helps you get places, but when you're trying to like burglarize a house, maybe turn it off. Kid calls 911 because neighbors won't let him drink. Here's the deal. We've all underage drink. We've all been caught by our parents, but we've never actually tried to incorporate it and get drunk with our neighbors. That kid's an absolute moron. Also, Rush Limbaugh says something dumb. Is this news or is this every second of his show every single day in the last 20 years? I guess it's extra special this time. (laughs) D-Rose dot dot dot. Uh, Where to begin on that? I just... I'm at an utter awe. It's just, he had the big return, the whole being gone for 18 months. We will dabble in that. Talk some sports. Also, DUI, bus driver, it's not what you think, I promise. And I have a good uh, tale to talk about some of the kids from my high school getting drunk while they were on a bus. But no, it wasn't involving with a DUI, so that will be great radio on the hoppy and freeman show now tell them how can they get in contact us uh, in contact uh, with us mr hoppy you can tweet at us at hoppy radio 89.3 what about you mr andrew free man you can tweet at me at saint broseph that's saint spelled out b-r-o-s-e-p-h and please add me as a friend because i only have 20 friends and i'm a loser and we need them. We need. We need some more likes on Facebook. We're not very popular. We're kind of like that one kid in the chess club that needs friends, Freeman. We just hit two hundred, so that's not a lot. It's not a lot, but we're doing okay. So like us, Hoppy and Freeman. Search it up on Facebook, HoppyRadio.Weebly.com, home to all the madness. And this is the Hoppy and Freeman Show on WNUR. If you want to call the show, it ain't hard. Grab your phone. Grab whatever. <laughs> Call 847-866-WNUR. That's 847-866-WNUR. And here's a quick reminder. Oh, gosh. Portions of WNUR's programming may be inappropriate for younger or more sensitive listeners. WNUR believes this material to be artistic and culturally significant. We will play this music and talk between the hours of 11.30 p.m. and 6.30 am so welcome to the hoppy and freeman show and a quick shout out to finn out there i know you're listening in oklahoma uh you can go to bed now that's no. how big our show has reached we are there in oklahoma now we got to get kevin Durant to say what up hoppy and freeman <laughs> nothing but love to finn out there in oklahoma you're Here's the man, uh, finn. i love you harvey danger flagpole said are you feeling paranoid mr hoppy what did people say about me i'm what dude yeah i'm a little paranoid Hello, hello. Welcome back. If you're leaving the club right now because it's like the end of the club hours and they're like, guys, go home now. And the girl you're with is a smoking dime. But she's just budging and you keep trying to make the move. I love how you said dime, by the way. (laughs) She's a dime of a dozen. You're a shiny dime. (laughs) One that you would find in a fountain and she's just... (laughs) Makes it even more classy. <laughs> Just laying there in a fountain. <laughs> Listen, and she's not putting out whatsoever. Just tune on to Hoppy and Freeman Show. And have her call 847-866-9687. Maybe she could talk a bit dirty to us or just talk to us or just put on her show. And then our soothing voices will make her play chess for you till 6 a.m. Probably just cry. She's like, why did you make me do that? Why do I have to hear Happy talk about things? No. So what's going on, free man? So... It is the Christmas season, and yes. we're all trying to get the best deals, you know. We're trying to get the best things for our rel- for our relatives, for our family, our friends, everybody. 
and we want to impress them with the best deals. So Freeman has a news clip about someone who is trying to think outside the box, be a little more romantic, a little more edgy and sexy in the bedroom, and she no, couldn't no, afford all it. All of these things are wrong. So what all happened? All these things are just wrong. What happened? Woman shoplifts adult toy, then applies for a job. Explain, Mr. Free, a so, man. So uh, this woman shoplifted an adult toy, then applied for yeah. a job, leaving her name and address on the application, which the police used to track her down and arrest her. <laughs> so she went into one of those adult bookshops, the ones that are so sketchy, and just say adult on the front, and they look sketchy when you're outside of it. Probably bought a dildo. We're not sure what it is, but when you say adult toy, that's the politically correct thing for dildo. I mean, what else is she buying? A Jenna Jameson video? Like, come on. And then she yes. also applies for the job there. Like, where was this at? Was this in Florida by any chance? Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Florida, yeah. Oh. This is a Florida woman. <laughs> how did you How do you know? I just kind of guessed since it's the wing of America. It's Homer Simpson. So it's say. uh it's November nineteenth when this happened. According to cops, Leanne F- Leanne's her name, Franz or something like that. Who cares? She's as classy as a piece of dirt. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> Went to Intimate Treasures store. I think I've been to that store. In uh Crestview. Oh my god, I live right by Crestview. You probably were in there drunk, just looking for some things to spice no, up the mood. I was completely so- sober. But uh <laughs> Should I leave her name and address, phone number? She left her name, address, and phone number with a manager of the store. (laughs) And she got caught on camera. Uh, Let's see. This woman just sounds like she has no idea that there's such thing as technology and looking you up on Google and Facebook and finding out where you're at with the whole IEP address. And when you look at her, she just doesn't look like the brightest bulb in the shack. She doesn't look 23 either. She looks like 40 years old. <laughs> That's what meth does to you. <laughs> she stole the short and sweet vibrator. That's that's the utensil she stole from this place. Very strange fetish there. <laughs> it is unclear whether she uh, was reportedly intoxicated or not. I bet she was. Because she would have to be intoxicated to buy the short and sweet one. I mean, come on. <laughs> Since she had given the store manager her contact details, Franz was c- quickly contacted by the cops who va- valued the stolen device at fifty nine ninety five. How embarrassing is this? You have a mugshot on the smokinggun.com. You're a national laughter because you were shoplifting an adult toy and you applied for that shop. Not only are you too broke to buy a dildo, but you're arrested for buying a dildo. Like, how embarrassing is that? Like, your mom and dad must be so proud that in your mugshot, you look like you're 40 years old and you're 23. And number two, you're the embarrassment of America in Florida. I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but she was quoted saying, oh, my God, look at what I'm doing. Oh, my God, I'm going to (laughs) cry. Yeah, her mugshot isn't the most attractive one ever. Let's just say that. I'm going to limp. The uh, cop added, after viewing the video footage, the defendant retrieved the stolen device, which had been used. Oh, ah. And it was <laughs> no longer in condition to be returned to the business. I guess that wasn't glue that was on it. <laughs> Franz said she was she had been very drunk the night of the theft and did not recall swiping the item. Uh, regretfully, if you're ignorant of what law you broke, that does not make you free to do that law or break that law, so... I'm so sick of these dumb criminals trying to say, oh, I was drunk when this happened. I guess that's a reason for me to be innocent. We've all been drunk in our life. Sometimes we've blacked out and we wake up the next morning and we read a certain text. Just because you're drunk doesn't mean it didn't happen. And just because you're drunk doesn't mean that that's an excuse to be an imbecile. If that's the way life should be, we should all get drunk and then go shoplift at Best Buy. It doesn't work that way, folks. I'm just so sick of hearing them say, well, they were under the influence of something. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking. I wish maybe, it worked that way. Maybe you shouldn't be doing drugs if you're going to end up shoplifting a dildo. I'm just saying. Did you hear this uh, in Venezuela, Hoppy? Um, go on, Freeman. I think I heard it, but. The military uh, did a coup at electric- electronic stores. And uh, the government sent the military to all these electronic electronic stores, and at gunpoint made them put all their electronics on sale. 
Why? I'm confused. Why would they do that? So, I don't know. I don't know. I just know Venezuela Army. <laughs> I think that's a reason not to move that. to Venezuela. Then I think it's a movie, a reason to move to Venezuela. Oh, you want the big screen TV? I uh, fifty dollars. But if they're if they're using their authority for that, you have no idea what they might use it for against you. I'm just saying. Now I wouldn't want to work at an electronic store in Venezuela, but I would like to live there so I can buy a big screen TV for twenty bucks. Twenty pesos or twenty pieces of rock. Twenty pesos, which is uh, a nickel in America. <laughs> I don't know my currency like Mr. Smart Freeman over here, the professor. <laughs> the professor of uselessness. <laughs> All right. What's next? Because this happened in good old Colorado where people are smoking that weed. That kind of makes them into morons. And this next one represents being a moron. What happened, Mr. Freeman? Hey, I'm just going to throw out that crime in Colorado has gone down a lot since they legalized weed. Just saying. Uh, except for this crime right here. Uh, ankle bracelet helps Lakewood police nab suspected burglar. That's awesome. All right. Lakewood, Colorado. An alleged burglar went on a, what appeared to be a stealing spree in Lakewood and Greenwood Village. And what's around his ankle? Got the suspect caught. So what's the difference between this guy and everybody else that burglarizes any suburb on every night for him? And please explain because this here sounds like the everyday police blotter that we read in our local newspapers. Not really. This guy uh, was smart enough to have uh, a GPS on his ankle because he's already been arrested. So he had a GPS on his ankle? So he's the guy that's burglarizing and had a GPS on his ankle? What an absolute moron. Hey, man, I had, I I was in a club. I don't know, that GPS was wrong, bro. I was in a club. Here's a picture right here. (laughs) Speaking of GPS is being wrong, remember when we first came here to NUR to get a tour? (laughs) It, like, took us to the wrong side. So, yeah, GPSs aren't always trustworthy. (laughs) No, it's just on iDevices. Anyways, (laughs) Brandon Campbell, 27, was convicted in the case and couldn't, could get him nominated for the world's dumbest criminal. Maybe. Catching and convicting a burglar isn't always easy, but in this case, the burglar is wearing the proof, a GPS modern ankle bracelet. Oh, so this was his, like, um, house arrest thing. He already been arrested. He got an ankle bracelet from the police, and then he decided to go burglar, be a burglar and steal some stuff from some houses. What an absolute moron. The fact that you aren't in jail, and now you're going to go to jail because you're on house arrest. I know house arrest isn't fun. I know you probably get cabin fever. You probably go, I want to leave the house. But you have Netflix. You have the internet. You can do whatever you want when you're at home. I would rather be on house arrest than be in jail. And the fact that he's using that power and he's burglarizing places, what the hell is wrong with you, Brandon? Now, one of the people that was the neighbors to one of the people that got uh, their stuff stolen from this wannabe burglar, is what I'm going to call him. It's stupid for sure. We can track anything from anywhere with GPS. So it's silly. It's almost like he wanted to get caught. <laughs> said Lucia Allison, who's, yeah. And that was her actual voice. We actually got her to call into the Hoppy and Freeman show, and she gave us the legit quote. I don't think that there's any doubt at all that this guy is the last guy picked on the prison brain bowl. <laughs> said District Attorney George Brockler of Colorado. Sounded a lot like the first lady. I wonder if they're related. In one case, a woman came home and heard a crash. Thank you, Internet, for... Refreshing while we're on here. Upscale W on your <laughs> Indeed. Good stuff. So yeah, what happened? The, the Internet froze, and then this happened. Keep going. I don't think that there's any doubt at all that this guy is the last guy. Okay, I read that. In one case, a woman came home and heard a crash when her fence post was knocked over. Campbell is still inside, according to police. She discovered $90,000 <laughs> worth of her items had been stolen. This guy this is, is a nice neighborhood. Go on. This guy is probably one of those burglars that's doing it to either get crack money or to pay off some child support. If he's taken $90,000 worth of things from people's houses, this is a greater scheme. If he's going into 15 different houses in a nice yuppie neighborhood for things, 
this guy has a lot of problems. The GPS didn't even didn't just pin him for the place that uh, the burglaries happened. It pinned him for the time that he was there. I would say it's a prosecutor's dream to have a GPS. Deputy Prosecutor Chelsea Coke said, "That's an excellent piece of evidence to put him at every single burglary at the time it was burglarized." And now. What's the chance in the next 40 years when we're all old and that teens by then will have government chips in them that will be GPS trackers? So That's the government. Constitutional. It's not going to happen ever. I just think that this is a perfect way to catch criminals and fix crimes. I'm not for it. I think the government sometimes has too much authority over us. But don't you think there's a chance that the government could maybe. Put GPS trackers in it. In You're us. already being tracked, Hoppy. What are you talking about? <laughs> All they would see is Pornhub and AdultSwim.com. You have a cell phone in your pocket that is an electronic chip that the government can track you with. It it is very creepy because I was looking at some of my old um, pictures from when I went to Cleveland last summer, and it had the exact location. And I didn't even say it. It's like you were at Voinovich Park, you were at downtown Cleveland, and I guess I had my GPS on. I didn't say to the picture this was at Voinovich. Park. This was at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So when I saw that happen, I was actually legit creeped out. Um, you know, do you know what I'm saying, Freeman? Like, if a cop were to look at a picture, he could pretty much figure out where I was in Cleveland, which isn't hard to figure out because that's a small dump of a town anyway. I mean, I just, these days with the NSA, with everything that's going on, I'm not surprised by anything. That movie Public Enemy with Will Smith and Gene Hackman. It all came true. Frightening, right? That movie Eagle, it exists. Never heard of that movie. Who's it with? Uh, Shia LaBeouf. Oh, if he's in a movie, I'll never watch it then. Hands down, one of the worst actors of all time. No, that's that's crap. Sorry. He's actually pretty good. <laughs> he also knows how to drive a car well. <laughs> Are we talking about Shia LaBeouf or Beaver? Beaver who? Bieber. Oh, Every damn celebrity does not know how to drive a car, so you could go down a whole list and be here till 9 a.m. listing them off. All right, we're going to have a song. It's Mayno All the Above. I promise it's the clean version. Or we'd be fine by the big boys. Yo, Pay, you ready? Yeah. Main, let's lock and load. Yeah. Just blaze. Yeah. No, turn me up. Hey, yeah. yeah, I think we got one. Yeah. Here we go. Tell me what do you see when you're looking at me? Whoa, whoa. Thank you for listening to the Hoppy and Freeman Show. Hoppyradio.weebly.com, hoppymedia.wordpress.com. Tweeted us during the week at hoppyradio893 and at St. Broseph. B R O S E P H R Hoppy9 at yahoo.com if you're interested in syndication and queries or anything. All right. Have a great Thanksgiving. Appreciate life because I appreciate being on the radio. Shout out to Jamie and everybody at Freeform and WNUR for giving us this opportunity and for Freeman for crumpling up the paper of, of our gobble, notes. Gobble. We put in so much work into the show. We gobble, love gobble. you, Chicago, the greatest city gobble, in the Midwest, gobble, gobble. the greatest city in the gobble, gobble, gobble. whole world. Thank you for listening. Gobble, we'll be gobble, back gobble. next week with our Thanksgiving recap gobble, gobble, gobble. and all the crazy news. Gobble. Follow us gobble, everywhere. Gobble. We gobble, love you. Gobble, 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 Have a great gobble, night. Gobble. And now, here's some classical music. Because this show is like a hangover. And now you need the time to relax. Gobble, 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 Bye. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Gobble. That's it. It's finished. Kaput. You ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here. The Ryan Hoppy and Freeman show is now over.